Bukinevich on the near wing. Inside Hayes, Fisher with it now, she'll drive. Far side, Ennis, corner, three. She got it! 12 point lead, 72, 59. 320 left to go in this one. 19 points for Dominique Ennis, five of 11 from deep. Rebound is made by Ennis off the short miss from Gonzalez. Here comes Ennis across the timeline to Adams. Owens Barnett thought about shooting the three, will drive inside. Goes up and over, 21 points for Jazzy Owens Barnett. Wooten driving inside, has Adams on her and goes through the contact. And gets that one to fall to make it a three point lead. 53 seconds left in the first half. Cross court, Bukinevich. That's 100. Maya Bukinevich now with 100 career three pointers. Minute 45 left to go in this one. A basket would all but seal it. Owens Barnett for the lead. Jazzy Owens Barnett for three to put the dagger in this one. Rice with a two point lead, 57-55. 45.6 seconds left to go here in this semifinal ball game as they lead by two over Temple. Good and inbounds, full court over to Angula Fact where no defense is right in front of us and hands it off to Jackson to get things started. A basket would be huge here for Rice to extend this lead. They have time once again on their side. 15 on the shot clock, 30 on the game clock. High pick from Angula Fack East on Jackson defensively. Seven seconds now, has to back up and reset. Drives once again, does Jackson from the left. Block, banks it home! Destiny Jackson with 16. Shot clock is turned off. And a timeout taken by Temple. The quiet queen strikes again in the loudest way possible. Bryce is looking for a spot in the semifinals. They need to defend for 2.7 seconds to get there. No fouls if you're the Owls. The Rice been screaming out the play and formation here. Up ahead more, wide open, three for the win. Rattles in and out, rebound and goal effect, and the Owls are headed to the semifinals. This will be the final possession for Rice here in this first half. A difference of about six seconds, or eight seconds I should say, separating game clock and shot clock. Jackson will get the high pick from Sama at the top, gets it once again. Poe is still on her defensively, four seconds. Klazak to her left, has the pump fake, will line drive for three. Somehow that one goes home. Are you kidding, Klazak? Joiner with it, will try to drive inside, and she falls to the ground. Ennis gets the ball as it trickles away. Now here come the Owls. Fisher cutting to the lane. In and one from Aaliyah Fisher. 1.8 left to go. Piper struggling with the inbound. Almost a five second violation. Here's a three from midcourt and misses. The Rice Owls are headed to the American Conference title game. The final score is 60 to 57. Rice defeats Temple and gets revenge from the regular season loss. Eight seconds on the shot clock inside to Hayes. Turnaround, layup, hook shot, that one goes in. 18 points for Shelby Hayes, she ties her career high. The magic of March is real, as Rice is headed to the NCAA Tournament. The final score, Rice 61, East Carolina 41. And your Rice Owls in the first season of the American Conference win the American Conference Tournament and have punched their ticket to the dance. Back here in little old Baton Rouge, Louisiana, or as it's affectionately called, Red Stick. 
I'm sure JP and Jason Macko will, will gladly appreciate the fact that I mentioned Red Stick. Right now a 24-16 score, LSU ahead of your Rice Owls with four and a half minutes left to go in the first half of play as they show the fans here on the big screen as part of the college colors game. A very good crowd traveling in this ball game for the Rice faithful, for the blue and gray traveling east on I-10 to make the five hour drive here to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Folks, don't forget, you can stay updated on everything happening around Rice Athletics with the South Main Update. It'll show up directly into your inbox every time one gets sent out. You can sign up right now at riceowls.com. LSU with two fouls so far in this second quarter. Rice with three. Pretty much the same scenario as the first quarter of action where Rice committed four fouls and LSU only two. Before going to the break, an N1 opportunity was awarded to LSU. As it'll be Anissa Moro to the free throw line. Again, the 83.5% free throw shooter. Good for fourth in the SEC as that one rattles in and out. Rebound made by Haley Adams. Jackson across the timeline. To Clay Zach, who hands it off now, gets it to Sam, who checks in for Nkulifak in the ball game. 13 on the shot clock. Clay Zach looking around. She'll shoot for three from the top. Rice back within five. As Emily Clay Zach is picking up where she left off from the conference tournament. Just a week and a half ago. Tight defense by Jackson. Caused the back and forth between Poa and Reese. Now back and forth. Poa with it. Three-point opportunity. Wide open. LSU three of six from deep in the ballgame. As they lead once again by eight. Klazak, right wing. She'll drive baseline. That one too short. She'll fall to the court, get back up though as the rest of the team sets up defensively. Reese with it on the right side, she'll stop her dribble, give it to Poa at the top. Poa will now go right side and Sam will call, be called for a foul. A little body check there. That is her first, team's fourth of the quarter. And the buzzer had an extra long period of time. Poa will be the one to inbound underneath her own basket. Trying to go down low and a reach in foul is going to be called on Klazak. She doesn't like the call. That'll be Emily's first foul of the ball game. It is now the fifth on Rice. So it should mean free throws coming up here for LSU. Janae Kent in the ball game. She's the one at the free throw line. The freshman guard from Oak Forest, Illinois. Shooting her first time this afternoon. That one rattling around, but finally falls. Largest lead of the ball game now at nine. LSU trying to make it 10. That one off the inside part of the rim. Rebound on the long one made by Bukinevich. Jackson with it, trying to conduct the offense. Tough man-to-man -man defense being played. You expect nothing less by LSU as this one's poked away and stolen. Rice now backing up to try to set up. Inside, it's intercepted by Saw. Here comes Rice, they have numbers. Klazak pulls up for three. That one switches home. Emily Klazak, two of five from deep. And Rice is back within two possessions. Cross court, this one deflected by Klazak, stolen. Rice in a two-on-two -two fast break. Pulls up from the left block, it's deflected out of bounds as it's blocked on the shot. And it will stay with Rice. Co Coach Mulkey wanting it to be in favor of LSU. 
So the Owls will get possession. To show a replay on the end screen big board. Poa was the one with the block on Klazak. Kent will check out of the ball game. Morrow checks back in for LSU. Jackson inbound underneath. Trying to go on over to Som. Deflected over to Adams though. Bukinevich now Jackson at the top. 20 on the shot clock. 2.20 left to go in the first half. Rice trying to close the gap just a little bit more. Jackson going to a cutting Som, but it's intercepted by Poa. LSU leads it 28-22 with two minutes left in the first half. On the opposite side behind Angel Reese, too strong on the shot. Lucky break there if you're Rice defensively. Now you got to take advantage here on this possession. Som Klazak thought about shooting the three, decides not to. She'll back up. Back and forth on over to her left. She'll go baseline now. Looking around, gets pushed to the ground. And that will be out of bounds off of Klazak. LSU has made four of their last five from the field. And yeah, just Klazak was just lost balance as they showed the replay on the video board. Williams air balls it. She tried a three of her own, and it didn't work. As you can hear, the Rice band and the Rice faithful behind us chanting air ball. 90 seconds left in the first half of play. LSU leads Rice 28-22. Adams with it to Klazak on the handoff. To Som at the top. Doesn't get it to Bukinevich. Try to go inside Jackson, but decided not to. Tight defense once again by Poa. Now finally gets it to Jackson. 10 seconds, double team. Down low. Som. Layup goes. First time we've seen Fatou Som score in a few games, and it's a big one right there as it brings it back within four. Williams thought about the wide open three, decided not to. Now Poa will. That one's short, missing everything. Reese will save it as it goes out of play, gets it back to Williams, and Poa is somehow able to recover it. LSU with another chance at it. Now Adams will be called for a foul. As Reese will get help from her teammate off the court. It's the first foul of the ball game on Adams. Adams was frustrated with herself. She knew that it was just a silly contact that caused the foul. First free throw goes for Angel Reese. Reese three of three from the free throw line so far. LSU the only team with an opportunity at the charity stripe in this ball game. Rice has not had an opportunity in the first half. Second one goes. Reese, 4 of 4. LSU, 7 of 9 for 78%. This will be the final possession for Rice here in this first half. A difference of about 6 seconds, or 8 seconds, I should say, separating game clock and shot clock. Jackson will get the high pick from Sam at the top, gets it once again. Poe is still on her defensively, 4 seconds. Klazak to her left. Has the pump fake, will line drive for three. Somehow that one goes home. Are you kidding, Klazak? Full court shot. That one will go out of bounds. And what a way to send it to the half. A last second heat to beat the shot clock. And Rice brings it back within three. 30-27 as the Owls carry momentum into the locker room with the surprise make on the line drive from Emily Klazak. That's a way to end the first half of your ice. You do trail by three, but it doesn't matter. 30-27 the score, we'll take a quick break. And when we come back, we will have the halftime report for you. We'll take a look at the first half of stats. Then we'll send it back to the studio. J.P. Heath giving you a preview and a look around Rice Athletics and what's coming up in the near future. And then after that, we'll take a look at what's happened 
around the tournament here in the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament so far today. What has gone final? What is going on at the moment? And more. All that coming up after this here in the Halftime Report. This is Rysel Women's Basketball from Learfield. 